Hello, vlog family. All right, I am currently working on putting together a goodie box for Kristen. She had asked a couple of weeks ago, I posted on Instagram, I think it was Instagram, that I made this little stuffed Loch Ness monster. And again, you have to forgive its broken neck. Kristen told me that she also wanted a Loch Ness monster. And I told her, sure, okay. So I made her one. And then I told her I would send it to her here within the next week or so. So this is the Loch Ness Monster that I made her. And it is stinking adorable. Its neck is not broken, which is great. And I embroidered a little Mad Hatter hat on its bootay. So that is very, very cute. But being me, I have a goodie box gene instilled in me that was passed down from my mother. Where I cannot send... A single item through the post. If I am mailing somebody something, like a physical item, not just a letter, but like an actual item, it is very difficult for me to send just one thing. So Kristen knows I am sending her this little Loch Ness monster, but I don't think she realizes that she's getting a lot of other things as well. So throughout knowing that I was making this Loch Ness monster, knowing I was going to be sending it to her, I also picked up these little ghost peeps because Kristen loves peeps. I do not like peeps, but I saw them and I thought of her and I thought she would probably like these. So I picked them up. I also picked up glitter because a conversation we had at some point somewhere had me write down in my notes in my phone to send Kristen a box full of glitter. And while I, this isn't a box full of glitter, this is a box that contains glitter. So hopefully she will see this and appreciate it, but that's that. Also, she collects pins and she's trying to collect pins from every state. And I, in a past trip, when Dan and I had gone to Alabama, we brought her back an Alabama pin. And then we just recently went to Wisconsin, and she told me she doesn't have a Wisconsin pin. So I picked her up a little Green Bay Wisconsin pin. And then I am making her a little Nana Bear in honor of her Nana. And I put this together. So this is the full Nana Bear, and her Nana's favorite color is red, and she loves tea parties. So I embroidered a teacup that says Nana on it right there. And I'm going to send this to her as well. And... Funny enough, she actually messaged me and said, hey, can I have your teddy bear pattern because I want to make a nana bear. And I thought, shoot, I'm surprising her with a nana bear. How do I not give this pattern to her until she has the bear? So I told her, sure, I'm sending the Loch Ness Monster. I'll send the pattern with that box, which I think worked. I don't think she's going online to find the pattern. I think she's going to wait for this box, which is good. So she, I am also then sending the full pattern to this bear, which I will link in the description because it is not my pattern. I do not own it. It is on a website called How Joyful Bear. There we go. That's what it is. So the how, the howjoyfulblog.com slash bear is the website you'd go to to get this pattern. So I am, I printed out the pattern that is the right sizes and everything for this sized bear. And I am gonna send that to her as well, but she doesn't know that I'm actually sending a bear as well. So I need to put all this together. I just went downstairs and got all sorts of bags and a box and all sorts of like decoration stuff. And Kristen said that she wanted to record her opening the box for the Loch Ness Monster. So hopefully I will get that recording and I will be able to include that in this vlog. I hope you enjoy. I hope Kristen enjoys it. Hopefully you liked it, Kristen. We're going to find out by the footage that you sh give me here in a second. And hopefully now here is Kristen's reaction to all of this stuff. Are you going to help me film this? Hmm? you going to help me film it? Because you didn't get a snack. Okay, so I got home. And oh, this big box was uh, sitting in front of my door, and I was like, oh, I got a package from Julie Jeweler. And so I got my scissors, but they're kind of rusty, so we're gonna do the best we can. And um, we're gonna open this. <laughs> I have a 
goodie box jean thanks to my mom. So when I send someone something, it's difficult to send one thing. I hope you enjoy. The only rule is you have to open the red bag last. Okay, red bag last. So, <gasps> hey, it's got a little matter hat. Oh my God, you're perfect, you know. Look, no, this is absolutely not for you to snack upon. I don't know what your name is gonna be. You're a Loch Ness. You might be Leonard, Leroy, the Loch Ness. You're a hat or two though. So you gotta figure that out. We'll get there. Hmm, peeps. Glitter shakies. Okay, I'm down for glitter shakies. Oh, and I had to do a bear so I can do a bear. We're doing a bear. I'm scared of the red bag because it said last. What's in the red bag? Da -da 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 red bag. What if it's a monster? I think it's a blanket. Hey, it's a big bear! I totally thought it was going to be a bag of glitter. <laughs> no, you can't eat banana bear. I mean, technically there was glitter. It just wasn't uncontained. You want to eat a peep? Are we going to do that thing where we share? Okay. And I'm like, some of a peep for Bobby. Under this bag to use for other don't chew on his bow what's his bow thanks julie so you gotta make a good basket so kristen loved her box which i'm very glad of um the wisconsin pin the green bay wisconsin pin that i put in there fell out at some point the mail carrier, the box was real dented. I don't know if you saw in that video or not, but there were some dents in that box that were not there when I dropped it off at the post office. So somebody was playing hacky sack or something and somewhere along the line, Kristen, I'd asked Kristen if it was in there after I watched the video, I'd messaged her and she said it looked like there was an area that was chewed. So somebody got a hold of that box. Somebody or something got a hold of that box. So the pin is gone, but Kristen, I told, I showed Kristen what it looked like and she already went online and bought another one. So that will hopefully be resolved very soon. But I'm very glad that she liked the box and that everything else arrived safely. But I am currently working on making some banana bread. I have my little mini loaf pan here ready to go. And I like putting little goodies in my banana bread. So I have, this one has chocolate chips. This one has peanut butter chips. This one has toffee bits, and this one has maple syrup chips. They're these that I found, and I thought that was a really fun little idea, so I picked them up because I thought, yeah, I'll experiment with trying them. So it's gonna be like, banana, like maple banana bread, which if you think about it, if you have pancakes and you put bananas in your pancakes or have like bananas on top of your pancakes and then you use like syrup, it's, I'm kind of thinking that's what it's gonna taste like, which will be kind of delicious if it is. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. That has to bake for about 45 minutes. I'll bring it out. And then depending on the time, it's five o'clock now, so that'll be done about quarter to six. Dan closes tonight, so we're not making supper until late tonight, and it's soup, so it's gonna be really easy to put together. So I might actually make a second batch of banana bread and try freezing those loaves. And we'll see how it goes. There was a lot of rhyming that I didn't intend to make. It smells so good. I'm definitely gonna try this maple one first, but the peanut butter is always my favorite. I love this one so much. For supper tonight, we made lamb and look at how good that looks. Medium rare. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat it. It's gonna be so delicious. We have baked potatoes and we have salads. 
It is Thursday now. I am currently setting up so my ring light hanging out there and computer and everything to film next Wednesday's video. Um, I'm getting ahead of the game. It's only Thursday and I'm already filming next week's video. I mean, get on my level. But then, like, don't get too close to me. Personal space. Anyway, I'm working on cleaning off the table because it's a bit of a disaster and also trying not to fall over in the process because there's cords and wires everywhere. So that's what I'm currently working on. It is only 10 to 11 and I've already taken Dan to work, done all of the dishes, had breakfast, done devotions. Like, I got up at 7.30. I'm real proud of that. I've not gotten up that early in a while, so I am being productive. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I am mildly sunburned, which you guys will see in next week's vlog, because otherwise this vlog I feel like is gonna be way too long, so I'm just gonna bump the fun things I did last yesterday, last day, yesterday into next week's vlog so make sure to go check that one out when it comes out next week but i hope you guys had a great week subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye